Well, the question is, does it really matter what dirt bike you actually have? Welcome to the Ride With Nights YouTube channel. I'm Josh. Today, we're gonna to be talking about whether your dirt bike actually makes you a better rider and how much of your overall performance is associated with which bike you have. Stick around. So right behind me, I have a 2020 Sherco 300 SEF. This is the four stroke 300, not the two stroke. And I've never ridden this bike until today. And it doesn't matter if it's a Sherco or a KTM or any of the Japanese brands, riding a new bike can be kind of different. But today we're gonna to talk about some of the things that we can do as off-road riders to help make our performance consistent and some of the things that are relevant to riding no matter what bike you're on. So we're gonna head out on a trail ride. I'm gonna ride this bike for the very first time and see how it goes. So here's the big enchilada when it comes to dirt bike riding. Dirt bike riding is composed of a lot of different things. I mean, it's your mentality, it's partly your natural talent and ability, it's the techniques that you practice, it's also the equipment that you use. It's a combination of a lot of different factors, but the big enchilada, the thing that a lot of riders get wrong is they put too much emphasis on the equipment and not enough emphasis on themselves as a rider. And they seem to not recognize that there's a lot of things that you can do as a rider to improve your overall riding ability without upgrading your equipment or getting a newer or better bike. So that's uh, kind of how I feel sometimes. <laughs> what are your thoughts on whether your dirt bike, how important is your dirt bike to your overall riding performance? I don't think it matters on the vintage as much as the suspension and everything needs to be dialed in and the maintenance. Maintenance is important. If you, if you have a good running bike and the maintenance is super top notch. What would you say to a new rider that's looking between getting a brand new bike or a used bike? Do they need a new bike to make them a better rider? I think the fun factor. If you say a one to 10 fun factor on how good your dirt bike is, as far as being new or, or old, I don't think it has a lot to do with your fun factor. You can still have a 10 on the fun factor on an old bike. So now that we've kind of established the foundation for the importance of bikes and where they play in all of the different components of riding, what are some of the things that you and I can do to help us improve our riding without focusing on our equipment? Um, we'll first start off by mentality. And in our online course, we teach and we break down all of the different components for riding. And personally, it's going to differ for everybody, but personally, Mentality is a big one, and it's probably the biggest component. So the way we think and the way we um, treat ourselves and think while riding is going to play a much bigger role in our riding experience than anything else, more than talent, even more than technique or equipment. It's how we think. 
And something I've recognized is a trend of, of mental spirals where when something goes good, you can usually have a lot of good things happen after. Or when something goes wrong, then it's pretty easy to start to have a lot of mistakes follow. And so just by being aware of how we think and maintaining a positive attitude and applying that towards our writing is gonna make a huge difference. Just do it. Behind me right here, I've got the 2020 Sherco 300 four stroke. And today is the first time I've ever ridden it. And I'm able to ride it and ride it well because I'm not too concerned about all the little details of the bike. I'm focusing my attention more towards all of the fundamentals for riding, things that don't change between bikes. And these are things like traction and balance and momentum, clutch control, throttle control. Those are huge and that's really how you ride a motorcycle. So if you direct your attention towards those components, then it doesn't matter which bike you're riding. For example, I've been switching with my dad and some of my riding buddies today and alternating between different bikes. In fact, I rode Eric's bike, which is a 2009 KTM 400. And uh, he's got a huge tank on it. He's got this big plastic thing on the front to block the wind when he's riding his dual sport rides. And it's totally different but directing our attention towards some of the fundamentals to riding, we're still able to navigate all the same obstacles and focus on balance and traction because that's the basics for riding.
So the biggest takeaway from a video like this is it's not actually that your bike doesn't matter or that your equipment doesn't matter. It does, and it's important to have a good motorcycle that's, that's in working condition. Now, it doesn't matter so much what year it is or what model or two-stroke or four-stroke, but the point I'm trying to get across is essentially that there's more pieces to the puzzle than just your bike. Um, I like to break it down actually into four different main components that go into riding, and that's your equipment, your bike, Number two, your natural talent and strengths and weaknesses. Number three is your technique. And number four is your mentality. So the invitation and the biggest thing that we can all do moving forward is to spend less time focusing on the equipment and more time on the other three. So here are three things that you can try to implement into your own riding moving forward to work on the other three. Um, with technique, it's to learn the fundamentals, learn the foundational techniques for riding, foot positioning, clutch control, throttle, all that stuff. We have a whole bunch of other videos that break these down, and we also offer a full online course for those that are interested in learning more there. The second is with mentality, and the biggest thing that you can do from today moving forward for mentality is to simply be aware of it. Now, we'll break it down further in other videos, but um, and also inside the online course, we have a whole video talking about mentality. But the biggest thing I've noticed that's been helpful is if I'm simply aware of how I think, it makes a big difference. Then the third thing with natural talent, um, a lot of natural talent is gifted. It's something that you're born with, but there's also a large extent of it that can be developed over time through practice. And when you think of your natural talent, just think of your strengths. Everybody has strengths and weaknesses when they're riding. So think of the things that you're good at when riding. You may be a really good technical rider, or maybe you're really good at motocross or turns, and magnify your strengths and work on your weaknesses. That's how you can really focus on the talent category. So those are the takeaways from this video. Check those out, apply those to your riding, and hopefully that uh, improves your overall riding going forward. <music>